one of the things used to differentiate us as individuals is the name we are given. In the same way, a straight line also has a name that distinguishes it from other lines. These are called equations of lines. y equals 2x plus 7, y equals 3x minus 10, and 3y equals 6x minus 12 are all examples of equations of straight lines. Each of these equations provide a link between x and y coordinates that lie on these lines. Let us look at the equation y equals 2x plus 7, for example. To show this line on a graph, we would need to find the coordinates which each point on this line depicts. We select a range of values for x and substitute them into the equation to find the corresponding values for y. So let's say the values of x we choose, called the domain, are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. We first take the negative 2 and substitute wherever we see x in the equation. So we get y equals 2 times negative 2 plus 7, which is 3. So our first set of coordinates which will lie on this line is negative 2, 3. We do the same for negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So our coordinates are negative 2, 3, negative 1, 5, 0, 7, 1, 9, 2, 11, and 3, 13. We then plot these points on a graph and draw a straight line through them. Please note that once the equation is linear, the coordinates will always lie in a straight line. Or to say this another way, once the coordinates lie in a straight line, we have a linear equation. Let us look at another equation. 3y equals 9x minus 12. What do you notice about this equation? Yes, there is a number or coefficient in front of y. What if we were to divide the equation through by the coefficient of y? We would end up with y equals 3x minus 4. Now it looks like what we are used to. So again, we select values of x and substitute to give us the coordinates to draw the straight line. So we see that 3y equals 9x minus 12 is the same as y equals 3x minus 4. Could you think of another equation equal to this? How about negative 4y equals negative 12x plus 16? Equations of lines have a gradient. The gradient of a line, also called its slope, refers to the steepness of the line. Look at the following two pictures. Who has the easier climb? The one whose slope is less steep would have the easier climb. There are two components which affect slopes, the vertical rise and the horizontal run. The gradient or slope of any line is the ratio of the rise to the run of a line. If we look back at the equation y equals 2x plus 7, we can find the rise and the run by completing a right angled triangle. If we count the squares along the rise and the run and find the ratio, our answer would be 2. Therefore, 
the gradient of the line would be 2. If we did the same for 3y equals 9x minus 12, we would get a value of 3 for our ratio. Therefore, the gradient is 3. Remember, we simplified the equation to y equals 3x minus 4. What do you notice in both equations and the values obtained for rise over run? The gradient is that number or coefficient of x in the equation of the line. This is denoted by the common letter m. Notice that the rise is the change in the y values and the run is determined by the change in the x values. A change in values would suggest that we subtract values. Therefore, the gradient equals rise over run. The rise over run equals change in y values over change in x values. And this is equal to y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So if we are given any two points on the line, we can find its gradient. Let us use two points from the line y equals 2x plus 7. How about negative 2, 3, and 1, 9? The gradient would be 3 minus 9 divided by negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 6 divided by negative 3 equals 2. This is the same 2 in the equation y equals 2x plus 7. An important thing to know about gradient is that if its value is positive, the line will slope upward from left to right. And so if the value is negative, it means the line slopes downward from left to right. For example, in the equation y equals negative 2x plus 2, the gradient is negative 2. <laughs> Okay, now let's look at both lines again. Where does the line for y equals 2x plus 7 cross the y-axis? At 7 on the y-axis. Yes, the same 7 that is in the equation y equals 2x plus 7. And for 3y equals 9x minus 12, the same equation as y equals 3x minus 4, the line crosses the y-axis at negative 4. The point where the line crosses the y-axis is called the y-intercept. It is denoted by the common letter C. Note that when you intercept something, you cross it. The same thing applies here. This is what gives us the general equation for a straight line, y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the line and c is the y-intercept. So, if I give you the coordinates 417 and negative 45, can you tell me what the equation of the straight line is? First, we need to find the gradient of the line. Remember, it's the change in y divided by the change in x. This would be 17 minus 5 divided by 4 minus negative 4, which is 12 over 8 or 3 over 2. Yes, our gradient may be a fraction. Now that we know what our gradient is, we can find out what our y-intercept is. We use the general formula for the equation y equals mx plus c. We substitute 3 over 2 for m, and we choose any one of the coordinates and substitute for x and y. Let's choose negative 4, 5. So in y equals mx plus c, we substitute and get 5 equals 3 over 2 times negative 4 plus c. Since c is the only unknown, we solve for it. <laughs> the 
the solution is 11. Therefore, our equation is y equals 3 over 2x plus 11. So now we know how to determine the gradient and y-intercept of a straight line, and thus we also know how to determine the equation of a straight line. Mm -hmm.